Aaron lost the connection, so we're back again. We'll do introductions one more time. I am Jazzy Josh Raymer. Jonathan Shaw. Jonathan, Jonathan Shaw of Towson University. Oh, yeah, baby. I was the founder of WKU Dodgeball here in beautiful Bowling Green, Kentucky. So very happy to have Nationals back in the beautiful Preston Center here on the campus of WKU. This uh, first round game we have is between the University of Wisconsin Platteville, UWP, and Grand Valley State University. John, let's talk a little bit about these teams. It's kind of a yeah. tale of two different types of teams. Grand Valley, we know a lot about. I think they finished the season 30 and 1. Like 40. 35, like 35 to 40 and 1. Yes. Like something like that. It was ridiculous. What are your impressions of them this year? Are they the team to beat? Definitely still the team to beat. We know uh, Central Michigan took them down uh, the last time they played um, at the. Um, I think that was the Central that Michigan Invite or something like that. CDO yeah. or something like that. But um, Grand Valley still definitely comes in. As the favorites, we got Kevin Bailey waving right there. Uh, but this is actually an interesting matchup because, like uh, Raymer, like you were saying, Josh, we know almost nothing about UWP and two everything. And, oh. and they're two and, and zero. Uh, the only thing we know is that Wisconsin Platteville had one tournament this entire year. Um, I think it was at their home, uh, like venue, and they played University of North Texas and University of Nebraska Lincoln. Two teams who are not traveling here yeah. today, and those two teams also only played at UWP. All we knew uh, was the results. We know uh, Wisconsin Platteville, Platteville went two and zero at that tournament, but they played no one else. So we have no idea how good of a yeah. team they are or how bad of a team they we are. We have no All idea what to expect. No, no, and it's just the opposite with Grand Valley. We know they exactly definitely come in uh, for at the, for I would say the favorites. Um, definitely not. They definitely can be beat. We've seen a couple close games against Michigan State and Central Michigan this year, uh, but they easily have to come in with as the favorites. And I think they're the favorites all day today. They have a, day a, today, pretty, yeah. a pretty easy draw, which, you know, you should get as the number one overall seed. Yep. I know they go against Wisconsin. They go against UWP, um, Kentucky, Penn, and, and Penn State. State yeah. yeah. Um, which, not to take any of those teams like so lightly, we know Kentucky can battle, uh, but Grand Valley should run Grand Valley's over. a juggernaut. They're, 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 they're at least the favorite. They're at least the favorite. In each of their day one matchups. Mm -hmm. I think that's safe to say. This will be interesting. I'm seeing uh, Grand Valley, they're lining up their like, usual starting 15 from what I see. Um, and then what was, will probably happen here is Grand Valley will go up a couple points and then they'll rest coast. they'll coast and then they'll rest yeah, I think there. I think you'll see a lot of that once if they're able to establish a lead I think that they'll rest their starters and save themselves for day two I completely agree and you know for UWP anything can happen you know like I said we know very little about them they can come out blazing um, it's probably very unlikely but like I said we know nothing about them yep. so anything we'll can see. happen and that's why you gotta love roll, roll the balls out we'll see what happens yep. and we are about to get underway about to start it up and we are underway, opening rush here on point number one. And Grand Valley with seven balls and UWP with three. No casualties off the opening rush. Nope. Uh, John, did you ever play on the old school opening rush style? Or were yes. you always... Now, which do you prefer? Um, I prefer this. You prefer the new I prefer style? this, personally. Why, why, why is that your preference? You know what, man? I just, I think it's fun. Like, I think it's fun off the rush. You know, each team should easily grab those first three balls. But it's like a fight. It's like a fight for those the middle four. And you know what? I'm telling you, it depends which team you play. But the difference between grabbing, like, two of those middle balls and making it five to five yeah. in terms of ball possession in terms of and then grabbing neither of them and it being